Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Social Live. You may notice we are in a different location today. We are live from the Martha and Marley Spoon kitchen here in New York City, and we are so excited to be cooking with Jennifer Aronson and Grace Parisi from Marley Spoon. Thank you so much for yeah, having us here today. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very welcome. Welcome. We are so excited yeah. with this change of scene, and we came very, very hungry. Yes, yes. <laughs> I haven't eaten anything. I've only had some ice cream tea this morning. We are ready to start cooking. Awesome. Yes, so Marley Spoon is designed for flexibility. You can choose what you want and when you want to cook and for how many people. So we'll learn a little bit more about Marley Spoon mm -hmm. later today. And a step, oh. don't forget to start sharing this episode because you are going to be entered to win your very own Marley Spoon meal kit. So comment below if you want to win and start sharing this episode and you could be cooking at home this weekend. Exactly. Mm. And if you follow Stephanie and myself on so our Instagram accounts, you'll notice that we actually got a head start. We were practicing for today. Had to prep. So actually <laughs> on Friday, I started cooking one of the meals, the risotto with uh, asparagus. It was absolutely delicious and so easy. And you'll see today how easy it actually is. So let's just get started. And I'm so excited because we're going to get a crash course in culinary cooking uh, with <laughs> Jennifer and Grace. Yeah, good. So today we're making okay, we the cooking? yeah we're doing the pork banh mi tacos, and this is this is how we send you know a beautiful recipe card that has six steps. All of our recipes have six steps that are photographed, so you can follow along. Um, and these tacos are really delicious. They're full of flavor with very few ingredients. These are the ingredients we send. This is exactly how it comes. Our sriracha comes in these cute little packets, and our gluten-free tamari comes in these little fish. Um, we we use Sir Kensington's so mayonnaise, which is really delicious mm. mayonnaise, and bon 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 honey. Um, our vinegar is from Sparrow Lane, which is a, a really artisanal vinegar out of California. They use wine grapes to make their vinegar, so they're really full of flavor and special. And then our fresh produce, our tortillas, and then we have Heritage Berkshire pork. It's a boneless pork chop, a nice thickness, so we're going to marinate and sear. So you guys are going to do the cooking. We're oh just boy. here to help. Yeah. Yeah. So you just are supervising, and if you see us do anything wrong, please, please help yeah, us yeah. Out. So your first step is to marinate the pork, so that's step one. So um, the marinade is the tamari and the honey. All right, you can so get that going in a bowl. Oh, I'm not picking that right up. Right Look at me, I'm already taking the wrong thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So right. you start with the tamari and the honey. And then, you know, I'll take the pork. Sure, that little bowl is good. Juice no, this one's good. Because when I want Mary to put pork in this, it. I also want to open it up. Aren't they adorable? <laughs> They're adorable. Yeah. All the ingredients are very, very Instagrammable. And I love that everything is pre-packaged. It comes in the box, and it's ready ready to go. Ooh. So I'm just yeah, opening it. Yeah, I mean, yes. that's half of it with oh, wait, cooking. Can I do it? You got okay, it. You put yeah. it all in that there. Was so easy. Okay. Squeeze it out. Wait a minute. There we go. Addie, well, you just do have, it. You have to yeah, unscrew it. Yeah, got it open. Right. Yeah. So you don't have to go finding Both all the ingredients. Them? Both go in oh. there, and the whole package. <laughs> What's also really great is that there's uh, no waste. You know, you're not going to wind up throwing out any <laughs> any oh, food. There's no food waste whatsoever. Did you get it? You got it. Teamwork. I'll help you. See. You're a little stronger than I am. Mm -hmm. Although I did go to Rumble this weekend. So oh wait a second. Well, righty, tighty, this. lefty, loosey. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get this open. Ooh. All right. How oh, long is it? And then Ooh, this is a tough a one. Meal. Um, it should take us within 30 <laughs> minutes. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's, it's very fast. This one. Got it. If you can get the soy sauce. Open. All right, we got the soy sauce open. Yeah. Here we go. Perfect. I'll spill it in for oh, you. Thank okay. you. Teamwork it's makes the dream. Yeah, it's not a comp say. not a competition here. This is not <laughs> Iron Chef. This is Friendly Chef. <laughs> And then we do the uh, the honey. Just honey, yeah. perfect. All that is it making it in there? Mm. You need a little scissor. A little uh, scissor, yes. Yeah. Stephanie just used her fingers. So, what's the <laughs> average cook time for a Marley Spoon kit? I mean, mo we really try to design most of them 30 minutes and under. Uh -huh. We know people want to be yeah. cooking during the week when they get home, and they, yeah. they don't just have a lot of time. Stir. So, we're really focused on that 30 minute and under cook time. And also being aware of the number of dishes you use too, so you don't have 30 minutes of cleanup time at the end. You can do what I do, as I just told you, Kago. Right. Brilliant. Clean as you go. <laughs> yeah, great. Yep, so just, you just want to dissolve the honey in the tamari. It smells so good. Yes. It already smells good, just two ingredients. 
So you're going to get the sweetness and the, the honey will kind of caramelize on the pork. So that's great for that. And then we can just put this. And then the pork will go in. Right in there. Jennifer, where do you source the ingredients from? We get them from all different locations. I mean, I mentioned a few of them. So, you know, we're, we're very particular about the kinds of things we use. We love Sir Kensington mayonnaise. We love this vinegar because it's really a special and artisanal. We want customers to be getting not only value with a good recipe, but value with great ingredients that are kind of a discovery, you know? So, so we really work hard to source everything. The pork is Heritage Berkshire, which is, you know, a top quality, really good pork that customers can feel good about. Um, so we, we really take time in trying to source properly. That's and amazing. How many people do the meal kit, kits uh, feed? Well, this one's a two-person. Um, we also have four-person meals, and then you can just order multiples of any of those if you're doing a big party. You know, we often do special boxes, like right now we have a, a fiesta box that Ooh. serves four people or an eight person box. So that's a special add-on box if you want to have, you know, a Mexican dinner party, it has a dessert with it, so that one's even more extensive than I'm always up for regular for meal. or Mexican food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and our servings are actually really generous, so oftentimes a two person or a four person um, Recipe will serve three or as many as six sometimes, depending on, yeah, depending on what they're Absolutely. We hear that a generous. lot. That the yeah. people Cook take a bring for lunch exactly. the next day. Yeah. Oh, is there an acronym for that? Uh, <laughs> we got to really really come back up for that one. I'll get back. back to you. OK, now okay. you guys have okay. to do the vegetables. So um, okay. the cucumbers, these are Persian cucumbers, which are great because you don't have to peel. Oh, they have very few seeds. So you can just cut off the ends, and then um, you cut lengthwise, and then so thinly slice crossways into yep. like half moons. Lengthwise. Lengthwise, yeah. This? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. And, and then, then just put them on their way. cut sides okay. so yep. they don't roll around. Yep. Yeah. And then you're going to cut sides this like that. way. That'll be like the best way to do it. Yeah. I'm learning yeah. all the tricks here. Yeah. yeah, and those can go in this bowl. That's, okay, cool. And then just sideways, and then cut them into little half moons. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm just watching what Courtney's doing. <laughs> Oops, this guy's running away. You're supposed to do that. Right? That's perfectly oh, even, yeah. So oh, fresh. Right. You know what's also good is that if you have um, like put a little bee yep, slicer, bee slicers make really fast work of this. Perfect. This, this one, one too? Yep. Okay. This one too. <laughs> oh boy. How are you doing over there? I think I'm doing all right. She's doing great. All right. Who says that cucumbers have to be even? <laughs> no one. I've never heard that before. <laughs> Hold it like that, right? Yeah. Here, hold it like this way yeah, so that it lines even up together. Like Perfect. Hold it on both sides like that. Yep. So this is the salad component, but it also is part of the taco. So it's kind of an all-in-one meal. And we're just going to quickly pickle these vegetables. So a typical banh mi is usually full of um, really good vegetables. Cucumber, carrot, lettuce sometimes. Sometimes lettuce and yeah. lots of herbs. I know you guys can't smell this at home, but these cucumbers they're just smell so, very fresh. They're very and fresh. I just want to eat them plain. Can I just, just eat like one this? of these right now? Absolutely. Okay. Mm. I always do that. They're super fresh. fresh. Very fresh. Okay. Very then nice. you have carrots, Ooh, so right. you want to peel those. Peel the carrots. In the bowl. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. Oh wait. Flip, oh, wait. flip over your. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Very easy so far. Where do this you guys get all your your inspiration for new meals that you're coming up with and new recipes? Oh, well, you know, we we like to eat out, we read books, we look at magazines, um, we do a lot of um, kind of fun outsider type restaurants like Little Hole in the Walls in Chinatown or in um, Queens yeah, in or wherever we happen to be traveling. Magazines are a really big inspiration too. As well, we listen to a lot of our customer mm, feedback. True. We're constantly reading our ratings on our recipes, comments that people leave us, to really find out like what are those kinds of things that people like. What are those flavors that they like? Perfect. What are the types of proteins that they want to be Perfect. eating? You know, want to do this one too? Yes. We get so much feedback, so it's that's really how we help tailor the recipes. That's awesome. what, would, yeah. Yeah, what would you say is the biggest difference between Marley Spoon and other delivery? Uh, meal delivery company. Well, we really try to provide something for everyone. You know, we want there to be recognizable favorites. We want there to be kind of more inspiring ethnic dishes. Um, we want to be teaching. I mean, we've partnered with Martha Stewart. She's really well known for recipes that work. 
recipes that are delicious and that are wholesome. So we want to provide these whole ingredients that you cut yourself. You know, we don't want to give pre-made sauces. We want you to make the sauce. So we're able to do that with very few ingredients, but really mm -hmm. great, mm -hmm. wonderful mm -hmm. ingredients like, that bring a lot to the table. This is a good sharp knife. I feel like you get a really so, nice, good, small That's been our focus. focus with it. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Awesome. And is it a subscription? Do you have to subscribe or you just buy what you need? What you yes. Want? Well, some things you can buy with, if you just a one-off, like the Fiesta box I mentioned. But the regular Martha and Marley spoon is a subscription. It's really easy to pause any week if you're away or if you're busy going out. Um, you can pause that week. I right. use and my on app on my phone, oh, nice. and then I can just easily scroll through the weeks and pause if I know, you know, I'm on vacation or I can pick my meals for that week. So it's a subscription, but it's very, very flexible. What type of cooking knowledge do people have to have when they order these meals? Really nothing. I mean, we walk you through step by it's step. Very true. So I did it on Friday. <laughs> I guess I, I can admit to that as well. I, I made a pizza and it turned yeah, out. Like it was pretty perfect. <laughs> yeah. I mean, don't you think Grace is really we we you just have all to be able levels. To read. You have, you to, be have to, read. to be able yeah. to read. Yeah. And that's all it. levels. All right. Because there's not too, there's no, no complicated chopping. We don't ask you to do weird, you know, French technique. It's all pickle. very, very yeah, basic. Turn this yep. on. I always say simple and easy, fun oh, and yeah, flexible. Sorry, I love that. <laughs> you can have yep, that one too. Simple, and easy, fun, and oh, simple and easy, fun, and flexible. Simple and easy, fun, and flexible. Fantastic. Huh? All right, so now we're going to make the. Um, he loves me now. Oh, and then pick he the mint leaves. <laughs> <laughs> So then pick the mint leaves and then so add them to the bowl. Like the I can help you. Super fresh component of this. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah, that smells delicious. I'm a big mint fan. Yeah, now it makes me want a mojito. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny how like classic Maybe it is in so many different cuisines. <laughs> <laughs> right now. Do you ever do drink recipes with the meals? We sometimes give drink suggestions. Um, we d we've done them on our blog a lot. Grace, you've done a number of cocktail recipes. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. We we need to get back on that, yeah. that program there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Courtney will make your first on yeah. recipe. Nice. Mm. I've never made that before, so I don't know what I'm making it, but I'm <laughs> trying to find it. something good on Pinterest. <laughs> okay, good. So now we okay, do wonderful. the pickling. So okay. this, um, the vinegar is going to go in here. Another adorable little And package. people are, I think people, you know, probably haven't made pickles before. Vinegar is in, in the oh, that's a big project, but oh, this is yep, all it thing. is. It's usually vinegar, sugar, and salt. You heat it up and you pour it over your vegetables. Put the whole thing in. Whole bottle in. Right. And then you need a tablespoon of sugar, which is the further one. Okay. And then a tablespoon. Uh -huh. That no, one's the that sugar. One's the uh -huh. sugar. And then a teaspoon of salt, which is the smaller one. Good. Courtney, are you going to do your salt bag? <laughs> do, you, do you know salt bay? Yeah. No, what is that? Have you ever done it before? I can't do it because I'm wearing the... You could do it, actually, Steph, <laughs> now that you mention it. How do I do this? You grab the salt, and then you go like this, and then you sprinkle <laughs> it in. You could do it to mine. Okay. No, 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 you don't... <laughs> oh, no. You, <laughs> you sprinkle it like this, like that? No, no, no. <laughs> like that. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, thank you, Jules. Very it's a little mess, okay, but I think okay. I need a and little then we're Yeah, put yourself in there. And that's it. I mean, <laughs> once it. it dissolves, you're good. So we just heat this so, up for a second, and then we're just going to so pour it over the vegetables. You can pour Perfect. this right over your, pour that right oh. over your veg. That was so fast. Yeah. That's it. Would you see, say we're like halfway through? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Amazing. And so look, see, this is all okay, dissolved. Here, you want to toss that. And when that. you know that it's okay. dissolved, then you know it's ready to go. Okay, this is good information. Yeah. This is very good. And so why don't you pour it on top? <laughs> okay. So that's pickle. On top of this, I mean, that's right? literally yeah. that's all it. there we is have to pickles. it. Yeah. Who knew? That was that easy. Simple. I mean, the longer you let it sit in there, this is something, too, you could do in the morning mm -hmm. and then come home at night and finish your meal. I do that often. I'll do a few of the steps in the morning and get ahead. So then it's super fast when you get home. Smells delicious. Courtney and I are all about convenience, doing things efficiently because we don't have a lot of time. So when we get home, and I love yes. being. I think this is health. This is healthier than I typically. Eat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Fresh. good. Now we're gonna do the um, spicy mayo. Okay. So put your whole mayo packet into that bowl. So let's get that in the bowl. Have a spoon next to you somewhere. Let do no, let spoon. me grab another. They're Kensington is ketchup too, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And mustard. Yes. Mm -hmm. They're fantastic. The flavors are really 
rich and deep and not like your typical um, mayos. So this is the part where you can customize. If you like spicy, you can use as much of the sriracha as you want. If you are less into spicy, yes. you can just put a little in or none at all. None at all. I'm, um, I'm not into spicy, are you? I like spicy. I like spicy. Yeah. I'm, not in, I'm not into spicy either, but I'm willing to give it a little yeah. a splash. But just a little, a little okay, bit. Good. <laughs> but then you can serve the rest on the side after perfect. Perfect. Everybody, yes. whoever else at the table wants something spicy. So just a tiny little bit? Yeah. Okay. It says a tablespoon, but you can do as much or as little as you want. We're always trying spicy. to give everybody, you know, okay. options oh, yeah. so yes. that they know, okay, this is the point I where you can customize Okay, that's it. it for me. Okay. Do you mind? No. Okay. So that's it This is good. You can customize it mayo. however you would, however you would like. It smells delicious. Yeah. Okay. So, Grace, I'm going to hand you a skillet. Thank you. So now you guys get to cook the pork. So, one that's tablespoon of oil, which here. is in here. Is you can just put that in the skillet. And if you guys have any questions at home for our friends at Marley Spoon, feel free to message them and we will either answer it live or if you're not watching this live, we will respond later with your answers. And don't forget to start sharing this episode because you could be cooking at home this weekend. I know. Just next week, whenever you get your Marley Spoon, you'll get the best. Did it not I need, for the... Uh, I think I might need another... Oh, maybe no. you need another pan. Yeah, it's not, uh, it's not conducting heat. You can get one. Let's see if one of those works. So far, this has been super easy, yeah. and I, I can't wait to try it. All right, so am I yeah. sticking it on there? Let's see. So what does it say? Medium high, and we're going to cook about two minutes per side. Two minutes per side. Yep. Do we have a timer? Yep. I have a timer right here. Okay. All right, that's going in. All going right. in. Oh. Wow. <laughs> okay, it's going to just <laughs> stick. Right so that's, okay. that's where I put the other one over there. Okay, great. So Wait, these are, are induction. So, okay. so they have to be, uh, oh, they have, to okay. have a certain material in order to get them to conduct heat. Yeah, now this was just the marinade, so we don't even need that anymore. Jennifer, I have to ask you, with the rise of Instagram, do you feel a need to make all of your dishes Instagrammable? I think maybe I kind of always felt that way. Um, I mean, I worked for Martha Stewart for a long time, and everything was always about making a beautiful plate and a beautiful image, you know? So when Instagram came along, it was like just such a fun new space to do what we were kind of already doing. So I think, you know, I love taking pictures for Instagram. I love just styling food and making things look beautiful, so. Do you get a lot of feedback from your customers on Instagram for what they like, the meals they want to try? Yeah, oh, yeah. People, absolutely. I mean. The, the photos on Instagram are really kind of in your face, close up, and people love that. They love to really see what they're getting. Um, you know, the photos are really bright and colorful. I think they really draw you in. So Yeah, well, yeah. we're going to have to make sure that when we're done cooking this, before we dive in and eat it, we have to make it as Instagrammable as possible. Okay, Absolutely. Good. Take the perfect photo. But, and speaking of Instagram, where can people follow you on Instagram? Yeah, we're at Marley Spoon. As simple as that. Yeah. At Marley Spoon, all over Instagram. And you guys are also personally on Instagram. I see you guys yeah. Yeah. On, yeah. Your own, yeah. on your own uh, yeah. platforms as well. Yeah. I love seeing our customers post their own pictures of stuff that we do. And they, they really try and make it look like the photograph, which is not hard because we don't do anything oh, on these photographs that you wouldn't to. naturally do. do. Yeah. See how yeah. We're doing here. Our recording so I already popped this in. I already popped Perfect. this in. Thank you. Yeah. So we've got like two. I think I had you a little high Two minutes over here. per side, two to three minutes per side. Oh, okay, over. That looks good. Yeah, this guy's caramelizing a bit. This this burner is a little hot. They go hot. These ones here. Yeah. Woo! It's getting smoky. It smells delicious. I wish you guys could smell what we're smelling. It's my well, you can good. if you share in this episode. Oh, that's true stuff. And you win your very own Marley Spoon meal kit, or you can just order your own Marley Spoon meal kit. I'm gonna get these. Tortillas in the oven. Wow. Perfect. Yeah, so the last oh, yeah, step is just that. to heat the yeah. tortillas. All right, here we and go. And we have some pork already cooked, so we don't, you know, usually Perfect. after you cook meat, you want to let it rest before you slice it. So we made some ahead so we Perfect. can just slice it and make our tacos. So I'm just going to turn this off. These you can lay out on a sheet pan, and we're going to broil them just to kind of toast them Perfect. a little bit. Perfect. Yeah. So, so everybody gets two tacos. Voila. We gotta get some live uh, photos and video. Oh yes. 
you don't want to take a picture of me. <laughs> so. Hold on for it. Wow, that looks good. So here's your Ooh. already done pork. We were prepared, the TV trick. Yes. It just cooks like that. Here we Perfect. go. Perfect. All right. All right, we are almost done. I can't wait to try these. We are so close. All right, we gotta thinly slice them. Should I start yes. slicing these? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, the the best thing to do is kind Ooh, of when look. you're when you're slicing a meat, look is to delicious. go crosswise the grain. You can see there's just kind of lines yes. that follow that way. So I would slice it down this way. So you can ah. just take it off and slice it on your board. I'm gonna watch what you do because I, I couldn't hear from over here. I'll explain it to All you. All right. Though. So you ready to slice? Yes. Okay. This way? Uh-huh. Okay. So to make it easier to eat, try and slice them as thinly as okay. possible. Yeah. So we'll get That's rid of like that first perfect. Piece. <laughs> That's okay. It's fine. What type of knife is this? I feel like this is the my knives are not this sharp anymore. You know what? This is a Japanese knife. It's not that it's not an expensive one. It was actually given to us by a um, uh, customer or not a customer, but a, a, a vendor. Um, but it's nice because it's thin bladed and it's a Japanese style, so you can just chop straight down. I love it. It makes me feel like I can cook well. <laughs> <laughs> Great. How do they do? You so you cut perfect. Perfect. Or no? Yeah, All right. you know, probably and then easier let's get to the other one. Uh -huh. All right, I've got the tortillas. How are you doing, Court? Are these the um, good job? These are ready to go, right? Yep. Okay, <laughs> cool. <laughs> Jules, are you excited to eat did some birthday pork? Did you just uh, slightly pork? do these? Best? I just slightly did them, I only, and they only go on one side. Oh, okay. So these are the previously pickled pickles. So we can work with these. Okay. Ooh, you are you want slicing you want me. Yeah, yeah, they're really good. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Uh huh. Yeah. Wiping it right on the apron. Yeah. <laughs> what are we supposed to do? Sometimes. <laughs> okay. So now. Okay. okay. So now we have some plates here. I'm sorry. And then the for, then for the plating. Images. All right. We got to make them as beautiful yes. as this. Yes. So you can either have two plates or a platter. These ones. Yeah. Okay. So um, spread a little of the mayo. We'll do two plates. On the, okay. Just work on the two cutting plates. board. Okay. And then we can put All them right. on the nice. Perfect. Perfect. Plate. Thank you. Okay. Spread a little mayo. A little mayo. In the middle? Uh-huh. Yep. Let me get you a spoon. All right. Okay. And then fill it with some of the, um, the meat. Here, take this. And some vegetables. Yep. So put some of the meat down in here now. A, uh, one of those. What's, like what's a tongue? Stephanie's working with this. Perfect. Yes. That's, oh. okay. That's it. And then, the and then some vegetables. You can with even actually use the tongs, too. Oh, perfect. How, how, uh, um, four nice. make it. No, I mean, that's oh, good. That looks Basically fine. No, that's actually great. Four okay, perfect. tortillas to and then, fill, yeah. so yes. you can divide that is. it up. Can we pop it on there? Marley's spoon is perfectly Instagrammable. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you do? I think I'm doing well. All right. So that's oh, I forgot one. To put it that's okay. On. Yeah, we'll just Thank you. hold mm -hmm. this guy up and you can do another one on this plate. Very simple. Yeah, that's this is this is it. So then and you, you can get, serve you know, more of the hot salad, sauce on the side. Meat, Perfect. Um, a little bit of carb, all in one, one taco. Perfect. Gorgeous. All right, let me look at these uh, images here and make sure mine looks like it. I think it does. Does it look like that? Yeah. Look how beautiful that is. I love it. Do you want to do another plate? Sure. While we're at it, why yes. not? Nice. Make sure you get some of that mint in there. I'm going to put some in this All one. All right. And there we go. Perfect. That does look beautiful. Isn't that Let's nice? See. Good job, Court. Thank you. All right. Let's keep going. Yeah, you still have plenty of meat and veg, so you can maybe even fill these a little more. I agree. Let's get a little bit more in there. More meat. We hope everyone here is hungry meat. because everyone's Getting some pork ones. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Gorgeous. Get some of this. Perfect, perfect. Beautiful. All right. How nice is that? What do you think, Court? 
Looks gorgeous. <laughs> so now before Stunning. we eat, we have to do what any good person who works on social media does. We have to any take person. the perfect <laughs> photo because if we don't post it on Instagram, no one will know. It didn't happen, right? <laughs> so let's see what I can let's see what I can get here. I think that looks pretty good. A little portrait mode effect. Got Courtney in the background finishing hers. <laughs> All right. So is it time to, am I missing any steps? Are we done? Can we taste this? We are done. We are ready to go. If it Beautiful. were uh, 7 o'clock at night, I would be ready to just sit down and have a glass of wine and eat this with my husband and puppy, but I'll take Courtney for today. <laughs> All right. <laughs> let's do it. Would you like one? Oh, mm. thanks. Not really. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Juicy. Yeah, Not so too spicy. Good. Very juicy. Not too spicy. Mm. That is absolutely Did perfect. Did you get the spice right on the mm -hmm. on the mayo? Good. Yeah. Very, very mm. good. All right. And then you can customize it by adding a little bit Add more. more. Nice. Well, yeah. this was absolutely amazing. Thank you guys so much for cooking with us today. Thanks we for had coming in. It was so much fun. And I feel like I have learned a few more skills to use when I go home and and do this another time. Awesome. And I want to thank everyone for tuning in. Do not forget to share today's episode for your chance to win your very own Marley Spoon meal kit. And we have a very special announcement. We are going to be live at Social Media Week on April 27th with Martha, Martha Stewart, with Fabian, who is the co-founder of uh, Martha and Marley Spoon, as well as Patrick Janelle, a very well-known influencer, and Courtney. We will be talking all about influencer <laughs> marketing in the food industry, and we will be so excited to see everyone there. Thank you guys again for tuning in, and thank you so much thank for having you. us. Thank you. Yes. We'll see you guys next week. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.